Nice start. Louisa already getting up onto the shoulder of Roman as they get moving. Palmer looking good, approaching Bays, and on the inside there we have McLean, but Alexia Louisa down the back straight into the lead. Now Roman starting to get a move on. Slow start from Daniela, but she's really getting moving now. So side by side, Louisa, Roman, Palmer coming through. Also Bays to the outside, Hanlon, but now it's all Alexia Louisa. As she starts to clear away from the field, coming into the home straight. So rounding the bend the last time, into the home straight now, Louisa leads it. Break then to Roman. Sophia Hanlon looking good. The two, sorry, Bays and Palmer going stride for stride, but Louisa is out by about 15 metres. Bays looks like she has the strength to come in second here. Louisa first in. It'll be Bays. Then I think it'll be Hanlon perhaps. Palmer to the inside. Roman and McLean in that order. Alexia Louisa taking out the women's A 400 metres. Two, two of our top juniors here in the inside lanes. Curdian has the benefit of O'Brien just to the outside. Johnson, so good at the Victorian Junior Championships a few weeks ago. She's got a chase from that inside lane. The outer lanes there, you've got Nia Brown stretching out to the 400 here tonight. More commonly seen in the hundreds. And you see O'Brien starting to already take that double lane stagger over Brown at the moment. Curdian moving nicely around the top bend. Johnson still just out of reach of the bunch at the moment as they come through the top bend and into the home straight. So Genevieve O'Brien from Glen Huntley leads them in. Curdian still battling on nicely and has come alongside Brown. It's going to be close for those two. Johnson still got a bit of work to do, but Genevieve O'Brien, she'll take this one out. Curdy will come through for second. Brown will go well in the 400 there. And Johnson, one of our top juniors, she'll round out that field in the women's B400 metres. So cleanly away now. Good start there from McKinley. Also O'Brien from Wellington. Penning starting to really roll into it now as they approach that first 100. Chapman's got a little bit of work to do to try and get connection here. She's a lane back with the uh, empty lane there in three. So O'Brien's looking strong. She's got Santosh just chasing her down. They've now taken the stagger on Van Ede. So O'Brien leading it. Santosh with her on the stagger. You've then got McKinley. Penning's working hard around the bend. And then a gap to Chapman. As they start to straighten up though. It is O'Brien leading. To the outside, Van Eed's come back into the picture here. Santosh also starting to move nicely. So Penning's coming through close to McKinley now, but O'Brien's got the goods here. It's just a strong run there, Rachel O'Brien. She'll take this one out. Van Eed was good in the outer lanes. Then close, McKinley, I think, just over Penning's, Santosh, and then Chapman. So away now, good start from Summer Alley. Also Berylson from Melbourne University moving nicely up onto the shoulder of Anna Ross. So two races here with the lane separation, but Berylson looking good. Summer Alley also starting to take the stagger, but I think it might be the Melbourne University athlete. We're seeing Anna Ross really striding out down the back straight though. Good run from her earlier in the night in the 100, and Ross is now starting to challenge. Gee, they're all coming together as they hit the 200 metre mark. Bit of a gap back to Carl from Collingwood. But Ross and Berylson looking good. They're going to work together. Summer Alley just to the outside of them. So coming into the straight now. And I think Summer Alley still has that lead. And it will be the Glenn Huntley runner here. Yeah, Summer Alley. She'll take this one out. Anna Ross, big performance from her. She'll be in second. Berylson from Melbourne University, then in third. Paris into the outside then with Tess Griffiths and Maria Carl 
We'll bring home the field there in the women's D400.